Welcome to 2024. Today, we are diving into a detailed comparison of the Jackrabbit OG and the XG. Whether you're a daily commuter or a weekend adventurer, stay tuned to find out which of these electric bikes is perfect for you. Let's start with a quick visual tour. The OG has the classic vibe while the XG sports a more modern look. Notice the differences in frame design, color schemes, and overall aesthetics. Jackrabbit has been producing small portable electric bikes since they first launched a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2018. Since then, they've refined the product quite a bit. Take a look for yourself. I kind of like that giant back tire though. The OG comes in blue, black, white, and yellow, and currently they have a unique qualified captain's bundle available. The XG comes in red, white, black, and yellow. Now let's talk features. The OG and XG both boast impressive specs, but they cater to different needs. The OG is great for simple, no fuss riding, while the XG steps it up with enhanced performance and comfort. The main two electronic differences are the OG has a 300 watt motor, and the XG has a 500 watt motor. The OG comes with one battery, while the XG comes with two, which gets you double the range. One, uh, you know, one battery is one, two is double that, so. The batteries used in both models are the same, and they are UL certified, but we'll dive into the details of the batteries a bit later. The other difference is the XG comes with an LCD display, while the OG does not. Now, this might make it seem like one is better than the other, but in my opinion, they cater to different needs, while still being portable and compact. The stems are a bit different, but both have a folding option for easy storage. The foot pegs are also different, but they both function well. Riding these bikes is where you really feel the difference. The OG is straightforward and fun, perfect for quick trips. The XG, on the other hand, offers a smoother ride with better handling, ideal for longer commutes. The main difference in ride feel can be broken down into two components. First, the frame size, and second, the wheel size. The smaller front tire and shorter wheelbase on the OG make this thing able to turn on a dime, literally. The longer wheelbase and fatter front tire on the XG means the OG beats it out in the maneuverability department, but just barely. The XG is still one of the more maneuverable e-bikes I have ever ridden. Both bikes score high on portability, they fold up easily and can be stored in tight spaces. The OG is slightly more compact, making it a little bit more convenient for those on the go. Now most bikes that fold, fold at the handlebars and in the middle of the frame, and they turn into this kind of weird and awkward cube that you have to find a spot for. Now for some folks, that works, depends on what your storage is, but with Jackrabbit, they fold up flat into a pancake, meaning they're easy to flat load on top of, you know, trunks, a camper, RV boat, making them one, if not the most portable and easy to travel with e-bike option out there. Both bikes have the ability to enter into walk mode, and no, it's not that mostly useless walk mode that comes on most e-bikes. With the twist of the stem, both bikes can transition into a sleek profile for added convenience if walking the bike from place to place. Battery life is crucial for e-bikes, something we all look at when we're looking to purchase an e-bike. The OG offers solid performance, but the XG's battery is a game changer for micro e-bikes with double the range of the OG. Maintenance wise, both are pretty low key, which is great for riders who aren't bike savvy. Basically, you just need to pump up the tires now and again, replace your brake pads every once in a while, both of which are easy to do by yourself, especially because both bikes come with mechanical disc brakes or brake in the case of the rear only OG. Now I think both these bikes are pretty sweet, but don't just take my word for it. Let's see what other riders are saying. Ishmael C says, everything a micro e-bike needs to be. I was in search for a small portable compact e-bike for years, found my Jackrabbit and just knew after my first test ride I needed to have one. 20 miles of range with a 20 miles per hour plus dual battery setup is plenty to get you zipping around town. Jay says, super bike. Tiny but mighty. It has so much power for a great amount of time. Really like the feel of the bike. Truly impressed with the feel as well as ease of use. Really wish I knew what to say. I'm blown away. Thank you Jackrabbit team. So it looks like in the end he did find the words to describe uh, his, his emotions are. So which one should you choose? Well, it really depends on your lifestyle. If you want simplicity and the most compact, lightweight, travel-friendly option, go for the OG. But if you're after enhanced performance and extra features, the XG is your best bet. The XG weighs slightly more, it's slightly bigger, but it is still a micro e-bike if I've ever seen one. And I have. You've seen this video, you probably watched our review of the XG, so I've, I've seen them. All in all, I've had a blast with both of these bikes. They both feature a slew of accessories, and I've seen a ton of their fan base, who call themselves Jackos, customizing their bikes and really letting their personality shine with these bikes, which is always fun to see the community coming together, expressing themselves, having fun on an e-bike. And that is going to wrap up our comparison of the XG and OG from Jack Rabbit. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have a link to them down below. If you guys got any questions or there wasn't anything I covered specifically here that you really wanted to know, please let me know down in the comments. Love talking to you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.